Kamenuza Yu Rwanda Yashiais Ku Isoko Abaranga 8068, Barimo 946, Ba Impamayabu Mini Yic Asiro Cya Gatata Cya Kamenuza. 53, Ba Impamayabu Mini Ziakuranga Enabandi Bo Musayasaro Cya Kabiri Cya Kamenuza. 66.57. is Kwa Kundi. It's a, special, it's a secret message we have for those who are here before you came. So if you hear it. I'm Tike, principal of College of Medicine and Health Sciences. I have the honor to present to you 846 candidates from the College of Medicine and Health Sciences who have satisfied the requirements of the University Senate for the confirmation of the degree. Right Honorable Prime Minister, Honorable Minister of Education, Honorable Members of the Cabinet Present, Honorable Governor of the Southern Province, Honorable Mayor of Huye District, Vice Chancellor of the University of Rwanda, Deputy Vice Chancellors, Distinguished Guests, Dear Graduates, Parents, Ladies, and As mentioned and as witnessed, and now with the powers and authority entrusted in me, virtually by the Chancellor of the University of Rwanda, I confer upon all those. Mbonyi Shuti Francois, Ndajijima Nassimilien, Tuishi Melize, Valence Ngabo Mane Ragaba, PhD in Data Mining, Murorunghere Belfi, Wizera Devi. College of Education, 11 PhD candidates in different four programs. PhD in Biology Education, whose names have been read, whose programs have been read and mentioned, the respective master's degrees. Congratulations.
graduate uh, certificate in the School of Education, one candidate from one program. Postgraduate diploma in education. I, Dr. Alphonse Mriev, Principal of the College of Arts and Social Sciences, have the honor to present to you six. Education, she may man I vote. Overall best performer of CMHS, Uri Mubavo Jean Christian. Overall best performer in Masters in College of Science Technology, Mangonda Arthur Nathaniel. Overall best performer in Masters in, co uh, in College of Business and Education, Mkete Fua Zwani. I hope I didn't read your name wrong. All those best performers of masters, masters, please join also for a group photo. Then we have first honors, first class honors in bachelor's degrees. We have Camp Mire. Uh ishuri na kibazo yarafite mu buryo bwo kwishyura amafaranga cyangwa ibindi bikoresho by'ishuri yaba ari kubazwa ahubwo uyu munsi araza gutahana impamya bumenyi yiwe nawe abashe kwishyikiriza ababyeyi ndetse nabaje bamuhere How spectacular. Thank you, Nyundo Music Band. You may lower the mace and the flags. Right, Honorable Prime Minister, distinguished guests, everyone here, please stand up for the Rwandan National Anthem. Turasawa washitsi bahire mwese muri hano duhaguruke kugira ngo turirimbe indirimbo yubahiriza igihugu. Right, Honorable Prime Minister, Honorable Ministers, Governor, Honorable Members of Parliament, Chancellor, Board Members, Vice Chancellor, you are a management and community. Dear graduates, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, 
welcome to the 10th graduation ceremony of the University of Rwanda. I am, thank you. I am Dr. Emeline Munozagasana uh, from the Department of Mathematics, and I am honored to be the master of ceremony of this important event where we celebrate about 8,068 graduands, which is a huge milestone. Right Honorable Prime Minister, distinguished guests, to start today's proceedings, I am pleased to invite Ms. Patricia Campbell, the Chancellor of the University of Rwanda, to constitute the congregation. Madam Chancellor. By virtue of the powers vested in me, I hereby declare this congregation of the 10th graduation ceremony of the University of Rwanda open. Thank you, Madam Chancellor. Now that the congregation is open, uh, Honorable, Right Honorable Prime Minister, I would like to invite the Vice Chancellor, Associate Professor Kayura Muganga Didas, to deliver his welcome remarks, and we invite the Chancellor for her message. Thank you, Professor Didas. Right Honorable Prime Minister, the Republic of Rwanda, and our guest of honor today, Honorable Minister of Education, Honorable Ministers here present, the Chancellor of the University of Rwanda, Honorable Chairperson of the University of Rwanda, members of the board of the University of Rwanda, Excellencies, Ambassadors, Honorable Senators, members of Parliament, heads of international agencies, Honorable Governors here present, Honorable Mayors, heads and representatives of various government institutions, distinguished guests, esteemed faculty, proud parents and guardians, and most importantly, dear our graduating class of 2024, a very good morning. It is with immense pride and joy that I stand before you today at this momentous occasion the 10th graduation ceremony of the University of Rwanda. As we gather here in the heart of our historic Huye campus, founded far back in 1963, we are celebrating not only the graduates' achievements, but also the remarkable journey of our university that is forged, that was forged through the merger of seven esteemed institutions into a unified entity dedicated to excellence in higher education. Today, we will honor the hard work, the resilience and determination of our graduates who have pursued their studies with unwavering commitment and passion. Whether you are a graduating student with a bachelor's degree, master's, subspeciality fellowships, or PhD, you have faced challenges and overcome obstacles that have shaped you into the leader and leaders, the thinker and thinkers of tomorrow. Each one of you has contributed to the vibrant tapestry of our university's community and your diverse experiences have enriched us all. Dear graduates, as you step forward into a world that is both promising but also unpredictable, remember that you carry with you the values instilled in, in you during this long time that you've spent with us. This time you have spent with us here has shaped you into critical thinkers, compassionate people, and, and have committed and enabled you to commit to the high level service among others. I do once again invite you to always cherish all our 10 UR graduate attributes that I am very sure that you are very well 
acquainted with. The knowledge and skills you have acquired are powerful tools that can drive change, can inspire innovation and foster community development. That is what we committed to as a university. Today also marks a significant milestone, Your Honor, in the history of the University of Rwanda. In just a decade ago, we have transformed our landscape of higher education, breaking down all the silos, as I alluded to earlier on, with the merger, and we have managed to create pathways for collaboration and interdisciplinary learning and research. This merger was not only merely a structural change, it was a vision to cultivate a more inclusive and dynamic institution. One that reflects the diverse needs of our society, but also one that positions the university to lead in the comprehensive transformation of our community through research and innovation and provide the competent and high level workforce that is capable to drive the transformation and change at a velocity that our country's visionary leadership wishes to happen. To get to that ambition, we are also proud to celebrate the consistent and progressive growth of our postgraduate graduates from just 318 that we had in academic year 2013-2014 to today where we are celebrating the 946 at master's level. And from just two PhD graduates in the same academic year 2013-2014 to 53 PhDs. That's a great milestone to our university. Thank you. In addition to this, and thanks to our great partners that facilitated us through the sponsorship of our fellows, we are proud to announce that we have been able to graduate 13 fellows, uh, as shall be announced later, who have successfully completed their training programs in their respective subspecialties at the University of Rwanda that is going to change a lot in our health system. All these are in addition to thousands of undergraduate graduates produced each year since the creation of this great university back in 2013. I cannot also forget to mention about the enormous impactful and world-class research works that have supported our government's vision in various fields, leading to the transformation of lives of our communities that we can witness today. To our faculty and staff, I want to thank you your dedication and support have been invaluable in guiding these graduates and reaching the milestones we are celebrating today. You have nurtured these talents, challenged their perspectives, and ignited their passions. Thank you for your unwavering commitment to academic excellence and service delivery, and your role in shaping the next generation of leaders. Thank you too to the families and friends of our graduates. Your encouragement and sacrifices have played an integral role in this whole journey. And today, you share in the joy and the accomplishments and we honor your support and love. Dear graduates, as you prepare to embark on your next adventure, that is, not yet known now. Some will be pursuing further education, some will be getting employed, others will now freely start employing others. I urge you to carry the spirit of the University of Rwanda with you. Embrace the challenges ahead, seek opportunities for growth, and always strive to make a positive impact in your communities. Remember that education is not just about personal advancements, it is about uplifting others and contributing to greater good. In striving for all this, remember to stay humble. As the Holy Book, for those that believe in it, guides us in Matthew 24, 12, whoever exalts himself will be humbled, 
and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. We pray and we encourage you that you always stay humble, do to your best, but stay humble. In conclusion, Your Honor, let us celebrate your achievements today, dear graduates. And let us look forward to a future where you, as ambassadors of the University of Rwanda, will make a difference in our world. Congratulations to each one of you, and may your future be bright and filled with endless joys and possibilities. Right Honorable Prime Minister, I hereby now take the opportunity to invite the Chancellor to deliver her remarks. Thank you. Thank you. Right Honorable Prime Minister, Honorable Minister of Education, Honorable Members of the Cabinet present, Honorable Governor of the Southern Province, Honorable Mayor of Huye District, Vice Chancellor of the University of Rwanda, Deputy Vice Chancellors, distinguished guests, dear graduates, parents, ladies and gentlemen. Who doesn't love a graduation? They are joyous, a time to reflect on accomplishment and look forward. I expect everyone at the University of Rwanda is doing that today, and you should. You have completed your course of study, and you, your family, friends, faculty, and mentors are proud of your accomplishments. At an earlier graduation, I referenced one of my favorite poets, Mary Oliver. In her poem, Summer Day, she says, tell me, what is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life? Well, there's another poet who has an insight I'll share today. May Sarton, in her poem on being given time, writes, Even a year's not long, yet moments are. This is one of those moments. It is a pivotal moment, and you will remember this day for the rest of your lives. I would say you can use this moment to celebrate, reveling in the joy of your achievement, but I expect you are also thinking of what is next. And I would say that's appropriate. Some graduates may know exactly what is next and others may still be looking for that. In either case, I would ask you to stretch beyond what is next and ask yourself what will make you satisfied with your life. We are all most fortunate to be here today and we all want to make the most of the gifts we have. In this moment today, you can reflect on the realization that you have the opportunity and the ability to contribute. One of the things that I have learned is that when we give, we get. We have an obvious and wonderful example right here with us today. Parents, family, friends, faculty, and mentors are here to celebrate. They have all given, and that has filled their hearts with happiness for you, University of Rwanda graduates. In fact, graduates, graduates, let's all stand and clap and cheer in thanks for the gifts from all of the people here with you today. Can I get you to do that? What will you do with your one wild and precious life? As you're thinking about that, what I want to say is that you will design lives that contribute to the well being of yourself, your family, your community, and your country. I know you can. With that knowledge, I believe in the future of a world that is today maybe more challenged like never before. You are the future, and I believe what you will do with your one wild and precious life is exactly what we need. You will give, and in turn, that will give to you a life of happiness and contentment. Again, I am so happy for you today graduates of the University of Rwanda, congratulations and thank you.
Thank you, Madam Chancellor, and thank you, Vice Chancellor, Right Honorable Prime Minister. We now enter to another phase, which is the moment that we have all been waiting for. I think the graduates can now know the moment. Um, Honorable, right Honorable Prime Minister, uh, I want to apologize in advance. Please bear with me when you hear some word coming often, which is kwakundi. It's a, it's a secret message we have for those who are here before you came. So if you hear it, uh, it remains secret because it's a kind of, you have to be there word. Uh, dear graduates, we are now at the, that moment you've been waiting for, where you are going to be conferred and kwakundi. Uh, remember to remain in your respective seats and be standing until you are conferred and remember hearts off until you are confined. Uh, right Honorable Prime Minister, I would like to invite the DVC, uh, Dr. Raymond de Comana, to lead this activity. Nyakubaha Ministry Winhebe, Turahera Ku Waboinye Imam Nyabumenyi Zikirenga. Madam Chancellor, I, Dr. Raymond, Deputy Vice Chancellor at the University of Rwanda, have the honor of presenting to you 53 candidates who have satisfied the requirement of the University Senate for the conferment of their PhD degrees in their respective programs. As each name is read, I can request the graduate to stand up. College of Business and Economics, eight PhD candidates in data science with different specialization. PhD in Actuarial Science, Muremnyi Roger. PhD in Biostatistics, Charles Kipokechi Mutai, Mbonyi Shuti Francois, Ndajijimana Similien, Tuishi Merize, Valence Ngabo Mane Ragaba. PhD in Data Mining, Murorunghere Belfi, Wizera Devi. College of Education, 11 PhD candidates in different four programs. PhD in Biology Education, Manishimge Ariet, Mapulanga Tuma, PhD in ed English Education, Habajana Sylvester, PhD in Mathematics Education, Uineza Innocent, Busaka Chileshe, Iyamuremye Emmanuel, Mosal Madusale, Wakata Robert, PhD in Physics Education, Bujingo Jean Bosco, Kirja Robert Kent Mungire Beni. College of Medicine and Health Sciences in five programs. PhD in Biomedical Sciences, Ndorichimae Era Larissa. PhD in Clinical Psychology and Therapeutics, Niranda Muta Fortine. PhD in Nursing, Omuziga Marie Providence, Kairanga Diodone. PhD in Public Health, Nyangui Alipio, PhD in Rehabilitation Sciences, Ingabire Allen Jean Dora Croix, Kanyoni Maurice Garambe Robert. College of Science and Technology, 26 PhD candidates in different programs. PhD in Biological Sciences, Manishim Ngaroizi, PhD in Energy Economics, Kaitari Morris, Levi Ogwike Jun, Sekanabo Desire. PhD in Civil Engineering, Transport Engineering, Murunziza David. PhD in Electrical Power Systems, Muize Redarius, Serem Noah, and PhD in Internet of Things, Wireless Intelligence Sensor Networking, Katambire Vienna, Katushawe Caroline, Rul Emmanuel, Muka Manzi Florence, Mukasi Nangerik, Musanase Christine, Hauzu Munsi Elias. PhD in Internet of Things, Embedded Computing System, Abineza Claudia, Asingwire Barbara Kagwiga, 
Majinga Tofrida Julius, Maniraguha Fidel, ni Zeimana Eric, PhD in Physics, Umuhire Ange Sentia, and PhD in Renewable Energy, Aik Aban Aropayol, Catrand Richard, Gasore Joffrey, Gatoto Placid, Kundi Mukomba Fides, Tar Taribao Joan, Madam Chancellor, I now request you to confer upon these candidates the PhD degrees as cited above. Thank you. By virtue of the powers vested in me, and knowing that you have satisfied the University of Rwanda requirements in all subjects for which you were enrolled, trained, and examined, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Philosophy as cited by the Deputy Vice Chancellor. Congratulations. Madam Chancellor, I, Dr. Raymond Dikumana, Deputy Vice Chancellor at the University of Rwanda, have the honor of presenting to you 13 candidates from sub We are now proceeding to the subspeciality certificates. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, I, Dr. Raymond Dikumana, Deputy Vice Chancellor at the University of Rwanda, have the honor of presenting to you 13 candidates from subspeciality programs at the College of Medicine and the Health Sciences who have satisfied the requirement of the University Senate for the conferment of subspeciality certificate in their respective program. As each name is read, I kindly request the graduate to come forward. Endocrinology, Vangamgabo Jean Bosco, Tuizere Alois, Matano and Fito Gynecology, Shimiumuremi Emmanuel, Rukundo Jean Damasen, Gynecology and Oncology, Ngabonziza Eugene, Ruzindana Kenneth. Nephrology. Dufatanye Erar, Hundimana Gerard, Shumbusho Gloria. Gastroenterology and Hepatology. Ingabire Zainab, Mukanumvie Marie Solange, Shikama Felicien, Nyaminga Dina. Nyaminga Dina is also the best performer of this group. Madam Chancellor, I request you to confer upon these candidates from the College of Medicine and Health Sciences the subspeciality certificate as cited above. Thank you. Virtue of the powers vested in me, and knowing that you have satisfied the University of Rwanda requirements in all subjects for which you were enrolled, trained, and examined, I confer upon you the subspecialty certificates as cited by our Deputy Vice Chancellor. Congratulations. Honorable Prime Minister, we are proceeding to the conferment of master's degrees. And I invite the college principals in alphabetical order in what is going to follow. Madam Chancellor, I, Dr. Raymond Dikumana, Deputy Vice Chancellor at the University of Rwanda, have the honor to invite the college principals to read the statistics of 946 candidates from all colleges of the University of Rwanda who have satisfied the requirement of the University Senate for the conferment of master's degrees in their respective program. I invite all the principals and they will proceed in the alphabetical order. College of Art and Social When we read your program, we request you that you stand and you remain where you seated. Madam Chancellor, I, Dr. Alphonse Mlef, Principal of the College of Arts and Social Sciences, have the honor to present to you 
85 candidates from the College of Arts and Social Sciences who have satisfied the requirements of the University Senate for the confirmation of the master's degrees as follows. In the Center for Conflict Management, 14 candidates from three programs. In the Center for Gender Studies, 13 candidates from one program. In the School of Arts and Languages, eight candidates from two programs. In the School of Governance, Development and Society, 10 candidates from two programs. In the School of Law, 40 candidates from two programs. Thank you, Madam Chancellor. When we read your program, you stand up, but remain where you are. Madam Chancellor, I, Dr. Guillaume Nyagatere, Principal, College of Agriculture, Animal Sciences, and Veterinary Medicine, have the honor to present to you 49 candidates from the College of Agriculture, Animal Sciences, and Veterinary Medicine, who have satisfied the requirements of the University Senate for the government of the master's degree as follows. In the School of Agriculture and Food Science, 38 candidates from three programs. In the School of Veterinary Medicine, eight candidates from one program. In the School of Agricultural Engineering, 13 candidates from one program. Your program, please stand up and remain where you are. Madam Chancellor, I, Dr. Joseph Ngurunziza, Principal College of Business and Economics, have the honor to present to you 167, 167 candidates from the College of Business and Economics who have satisfied the requirements of the University Senate for the confirmation of the master's degree as follows. In African Center of Excellence in Data Science, sat seven a candidate from five programs. In the School of Business, 90 candidate from four programs. In the School of Economics, 40 candidate from three programs. Thank you, Madam Chancellor. As we present uh, your programs, please stand up. Madam Chancellor, I, Professor Florian Sanganwimana, Principal College of Education, have the honor to present to you 108 candidates from the College of Education who have satisfied the requirements of the University Senate for the confirmation of the master's degrees as follows. In the School of Education, 73 candidates in, his, in his six programs. In the School of Inclusive and Special Needs Education, 22 candidates from one program. In the African Center of Excellence, in innovative teaching and learning mathematics and science, nine candidates from three programs. Thank you, Madam Chancellor. Candidates, when I call the school or center you belong, please stand up and remain where you are. Madam Chancellor, I, Professor Abraham Mteke, Principal of College of Medicine and Health Sciences, have the honor to present to you 290 
candidates from the College of Medicine and Health Sciences who have satisfied the requirements of the University Senate for the confirmation of the master's degree of. In the School of Health Sciences, one candidate from one program. In the School of Medicine and Pharmacy, 97 candidates from 17 programs. In the School of Public Health, 46 candidates from three programs. In the School of Nursing and Midwifery, 53 candidates from eight programs. In Center of Excellence of Biomedical Engineering and eHealth, 55 candidates from two programs. In the East African Regional Center of Excellence for Vaccine Immunization and Health Supply Chain Management, 38 candidates from one program. Thank you, Madam Chancellor. As I read the programs, the, the graduates are requested to stand up. Madam Chancellor, I, Associate Professor Ignace Gattare, Principal, College of Science and Technology, have the honor to present to you 251 candidates from the College of Science and Technology who have satisfied the requirements of the University Senate for the confirmation of the master's degrees as follow. In African Center of Excellence in Internet of Things, 26 candidates in two programs. In African Center of Excellence in Energy for Sustainable Development, 31 candidates in three programs. In African Center of Excellence in Biomedical Engineering and eHealth, 32 candidates in one program. In the International Center for Theoretical Physics, East African Institute for Fundamental Research, 12 candidates in three programs. In School of Architecture and Build Environment, 39 candidates in one program. Uh, in School of ICT, 40 candidates in five programs. In School of Science, 60 candidates in five programs. In School of Engineering, 11 candidates in one program. I thank you, Madam Chancellor. Madam Chancellor, I request you to confer upon these candidates the master's degree as cited by the college principals. Thank you. By virtue of the powers vested in me, and knowing that you have satisfied the University of Rwanda requirements in all subjects for which you are enrolled, trained, and examined, I confer upon you the postgraduate certificates, postgraduate diplomas, bachelor's, advanced diplomas, and diplomas, as cited by the principals. By virtue of the powers vested in We have a technical glitch. We request all the master's graduates to stand up. M Madam Chancellor, I request you to confer upon this candidate the master's degrees are cited by the college principals. Thank you. Umuhango Kuri, Postgraduate Certificate, Bachelors and Diplomas. By the delegation of power to the Vice Chancellor, I, Dr. Raymond Dikumana, the Deputy Vice Chancellor at the University of Rwanda, 
have the honor to invite the college principals to read the statistics of 7,056 candidates from all colleges of the University of Rwanda who have satisfied the requirement of the University Senate for the conferment of postgraduate certificate, postgraduate diplomas, bachelors, advanced diplomas, and diplomas in their respective programs. I will invite the college principals in alphabetical order, starting with the College of Art and Social Sciences, to come forward and read the statistics. All candidates are required to write. I, Dr. Alphonse Mriev, Principal of the College of Arts and Social Sciences, have the honor to present to you 675 candidates from the College of Arts and Social Sciences who have satisfied the requirements of the University Senate for the confirming of the degrees as follows. In the School of Arts and Languages, 177 candidates from four programs. In the School of Governance, Development and Society, 290 candidates from nine programs. In the School of Journalism and Communication, 45 candidates from two programs. In the School of Law, 163 candidates from one program. Thank you. And veterinary medicine I have the honor to present to you 673 candidates from the College of Agriculture, Animal Sciences, and Veterinary Medicine who have satisfied the requirements of the University Senate for the conferment of the degrees as follows. Bachelor's degrees. In the School of Agriculture and Food Science, 397 candidates from seven programs. In the School of Veterinary Medicine, 96 candidates from two programs. In the School of Agricultural Engineering, 122 candidates from two programs. In the School of Forestry and Biodiversity Conservation, 55 candidates from two programs. Advanced Diploma, in the School of Veterinary Medicine, two candidates from two programs. In the School of Agriculture and Food Science, one candidate from one program. Thank you, Chancellor. I, Dr. Joseph Ngurunziza, Principal College of Business and Economics, have the honor to present to you 1,283 candidates from the College of Business in Economics who have satisfied the requirements of the University Senate for the confirmment of the bachelor degree as follows. In the School of Business, 586 candidates from 10 programs. In the School of Economics, 697 candidates from seven programs. I'm Chancellor, I, Professor Florian Sanganwimana, Principal College of Education, have the honor to present to you 2,189 candidates from the College of Education who have satisfied the requirement of the University Senate for the confirmment of the degrees as follows. Postgraduate uh, certificate in the School of Education, one candidate from one program. Postgraduate diploma in education, three candidates from one program. Bachelor's degree in the School of Education, 1,000 and 890 candidates from 27 programs. In the School of Inclusive and Special Needs Education, 151 candidates from four programs. Diploma in the School of Education, 148 candidates from 14 programs. Principal 
of College of Medicine and Health Sciences have the honor to present to you 846 candidates from the College of Medicine and Health Sciences who have satisfied the requirements of the University Senate for the conferment of the degrees as follows. Bachelor's, bachelor's degree in School of Health Sciences, 167 candidates in six programs. In School of Nursing and Midwifery, 156 in two programs. In the School of Dentistry, 25 candidates in one program. In the School of Medicine and Pharmacy, 186 candidates in three programs. In the School of Public Health, 68 candidates in two programs. Advanced Diploma in the School of Health Sciences, 21 candidates in three programs and in the School of Nursing and Midwifery, 223 in three programs. Thank you, Chancellor. Madam Chancellor, I, Associate Professor Ignaz Gattari, Principal College of Science and Technology, have the honor to present to you 1,386 candidates from the College of Science and Technology who have satisfied the requirements of the University Senate for the conferment of the degrees as follows. In School of Engineering, 514 candidates in 15 program, programs. In School of Science, 332 candidates in 11 programs. In School of Architecture and Build Environment, 245 candidates in 10 programs. In School of Mining and Geology, 42, 44 candidates in two programs. In School of ICT, 251 candidates in six programs. Thank you, Madam Chancellor. I request all the undergraduate and postgraduate certificate candidates to rise up for confirmation. Delegated Chancellor, the Vice Chancellor, I request you to confer upon this candidate the postgraduate certificate, postgraduate diplomas, bachelor's, advanced diplomas, and diplomas as cited by the principals. Thank you. By the what your power has delegated to me by the Honorable Chancellor of the University of Rwanda, I, Professor Kayura Mugandidas, the Vice Chancellor of the University of Rwanda, confer upon the 7,056 candidates for the postgraduate certificates, postgraduate diplomas, bachelor's, advanced diplomas, diplomas as cited by the principals before. Thank you so much. Congratulations to you all. Right Honorable Prime Minister, this marks the end of the confirmation of the 8,068 uh, graduates of the University of Rwanda for the 10th time. We are proceeding to the photo session and other program, and I request the MC to continue with the program. Thank you. You may notice the difference. I don't want anyone to say that I ruined your day with the wrong term. You came in as graduates, and now you are graduates. Well deserved. Congratulations. And you can have your hats on now. Congratulations, that was well deserved and 
Francis, it's your day. Yes, you may sing. All right, Honorable Prime Minister, uh, we are now going to proceed for a group photo, but for not every candidate, because we cannot have all the 8,068 student graduates. I don't want to say students. I don't want to be crucified. But we cannot call all of them here, so we are going to proceed. I'll be calling uh, different programs. There will be the protocol will help us, or they will be standing, and then uh, the Prime Minister, Vice Chancellor, and Honorable Minister of Education will join them for a group photo. I would like for us to call the group of all PhDs. Kwakudi. of all PhDs, please join them, and also all South Speciality Certificates. You will be in groups, as I have been calling you, and then we will have the best performers for the master's degrees. We have each overall best performer for each college. We have, they already know themselves. Overall performer for CAS is Madalitso Witness Vigasa from Peace Studies and Conflict Transformation. The overall performers, overall best performer in Masters in Kavem, we have Hishamunda. Severa. Overall performer, best performer in College of Education, Shimi Imana Ivot. Overall best performer of CMHS, Uri Mubavo Jean Christian. Overall best performer in Masters in College of Science Technology, Mangonda Arthur Nathaniel. Overall best performer in Masters in, Co uh, in College of Business and Education, Nketfwa Zwane. I hope I didn't read your name. All those best performers of Masters, Masters, please join also for a group photo. Then we have first honors, first class honors in bachelor's degrees. We have Kampire Henriette from Food Science and Technology, Tiza Elizafan from Applied Statistics, Hawaguhil Gwa Edward in Economics, Byukusenge Donasian in Nursing. Uh, for the medicine, they are not first class, but they are overall performers in, uh, in medicine. We have uh, then Byukusenge Donasian, Iriba Giza Jane in nursing and Mutuye Maria Ujuje Rachel from clinical psychology. We have all the other first class honors uh, from Estate Management Evaluation, Dusengimana Sylvie, Irakoze Jean Damour from biology, Noari Salomon from biology, Tigimana Jaffet from quantity surveying. There is another overall best performer we should mention, who is the overall best performer in the subspeciality. And uh, I'm going to be biased because she's a lady. So, Nyaminga Dina, we should give her a round of applause. 